Hi everyone, this is Wendy and you can see that yes, I'm out here and being active. I've uh, uh, had a morning of work and it's uh, early afternoon and I'm on these beautiful hiking trails around uh, uh, Verbia and the little village in Switzerland that I'm staying in and as you you know as you get out into the wilderness and you start to get on these ancient paths then you start to see all sorts of incredible features and I so love getting out here and enjoying uh, the outdoors because my life uh, when I'm back in New Zealand is pretty much indoors and one of the reflections that I've had as I I've come through midlife and as I've been really trying to improve my symptoms and uh, particularly in early perimenopause when I was feeling quite depressed I realized that a lot of my uh, active days or my days were actually um, inside I was taking the children to school I was working at the university inside all day in an office and then even for my exercise I I was going to the gym and uh, as we start to look at research on depression and particularly um, the emotional changes that happen in menopause it's really uh, really made me curious because one of the um, one of the things that I began to understand as as part of our lowering estrogen is that this affects the uh, amount of serotonin or our mood hormone that we secrete and it's this kind of cocktail of not sleeping of living our lives inside, having low vitamin D, and also um, for some of you who are high intensity exercises, then the other thing that you need to take into consideration is that your nervous system is aging as you come through perimenopause and menopause. And we lose the effect of estrogen on the outer sheath of our nervous system. And this is called the myelin sheath. And I often talk about this in my coaching communities on the program. And I also talk about it in my blogs as well and as part of this um, kind of a cocktail of changes that are a normal part of our menopause transition one of the biggest things that happen is that we start to feel depressed and this can you know this can start as just some emotional instability you feel a bit tearful you you know you're also feeling a bit anxious and one of the things that we're not doing as a society is we're not looking at other factors in our life and by that I mean our nutrition our sleep and our exercise now I've been part of the New Zealand fitness industry for many 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 years over 30 years and I've been part of the pioneering of that and as I came into my 50s I realized that all of the emphasis on the type of exercise that we need to do to help our depression to help our cardiac health and to enable us to transition through menopause which remember is a natural biological event it is the opposite life stage of puberty we all go through it and yet many women have um, experienced symptoms so one of the things that I found with my exercise was that uh, I was actually uh, doing lots of exercise inside when there's a lot of research now to show that outside matters and being out in nature matters for our mental health and doing too much high intensity activity which was sending my nervous system and my muscles into you know overtraining mode and of course the this can send us when we're not sleeping we're not recovering from um, the type of exercise that we're doing so one of the things that I suggest as part of the not only the foundation my um, menopause transformation programs but also the 12 week online exercise program which is called rebuild my fitness is that as we come through menopause um, we've actually got to take a little bit of a backward step with our exercise and it's aerobic exercise that matters as as we come through menopause particularly if we're not sleeping 
uh, as the as the first generation of women to come into um, menopause and to, in the context of all the messages about exercise, uh, you know, it can get really confusing as to what type of exercise to do. And there's a lot of emphasis on boot camps and CrossFit and high intensity exercise. But our heart, as it's changing and losing estrogen, um, what we need to do is aerobic exercise. So that's what I emphasize initially as part of the uh, Rebuild My Fitness program. And if you don't know about that program, if you're confused about your exercise, then jump on the My Menopause Transformation website, have a look at the programs. Uh, there's three different programs, but one of them is an online exercise program. And the very first module that you listen to is all about how lowering estrogen affects our muscles, affects our nervous system, and affects our heart, and therefore, I've called that module Fitness Foundations and I've called it that because a lot of us actually need to get back to basics with enjoying the right type of exercise um, for our health as we, as we age. Yes, some high intensity exercise is important as is strength training, but if you're not sleeping you've got to be really careful about how much you're actually doing. So I'm out here and uh, I'm, uh, I'm on my way to the United Kingdom and um, I've got Liverpool, Birmingham and Sheffield. I'm coming your way in a couple of weeks. I'm here in Switzerland uh, just for a couple of weeks. My son's on the New Zealand ski team, so I've been enjoying being outside in this beautiful environment. And this old ancient hut here is on the path um, up to Verbier. And it's, uh, it was founded just after, or before World War II. And it's just so exciting when you see some of these um, um, old structures as you're walking. I've also got my walking poles, um, well actually they're my ski poles, but uh, I always walk with these and you know many women suffer from sore joints and aching knees but it's important to stay active and you can use you know walking poles as you're out and about. My name's Dr. Wendy Sweet, I'm from My Menopause Transformation and I'd love you to jump on the website, have a look at the programs and, uh, and I hope that you know my absolute passion is having you enjoy your midlife and not be suffering with all the symptoms that many of us experience. We need to be outside, we need to be enjoying life, it's a really important um, stage of our life and you know we've just got to make sure that we stay healthy as we transition through this life stage.